And uh, I just want to know how, in the year 2008, do you break up your schedule between all these projects? Like physically, how do you schedule yourself? Um, as hard as it is to do the work thing, the harder part is to make sure that you're still being a, a husband and a father. You know, it's like the, the, the work is crazy, um, but you know, the truth is that's my biggest concern, uh, doing that. And so that's honestly the hardest part and um, most important one. Uh, in terms of how I do it, uh, I, I completely rely on the most incredibly talented people uh, that I'm lucky enough to work with. And so, although you see, you know, oh, it's, it's a show, it's, you know, J.J. Abrams, it's like, Alex and Bob, you know, their names shouldn't be any smaller than mine, and, you know, yeah. the, the fact is, <laughs> and, and, and Bob keeps reminding me of that. Uh, Alex is cool with it, and Bob's like, you know, dude, I saw the poster. <laughs> binoculars. Um, no, but the thing is that um, the, uh, the the day gets split up in a crazy way, and, and often I find myself feeling like, you know, I, I'm, I'm not doing anything as, as well as I could be if I was just, were just doing one thing, which is going to be a, a cool experiment I look forward to doing. Uh, but the truth is that, that, you know, editing track, you know, and locking that, and launching Friend simultaneously is definitely the biggest Whole. I mean, I, even when Alias and Lost were on at the same time, and Felicity, this is one of those things where it's like, this track means so much to me, and it has to be great, and, and you know, so does the series, and I feel like that's been the hardest part. But luckily, we're very close to locking the track. We're on the same schedule that we were on when we were coming out in, uh, in December. So I think it's going to be, uh, you know, it'll start to be a lot easier in a couple of weeks, which I look forward to. How is the track going for you, did it? Uh, it's going very well, Joe. It's going, okay. Um, I promise JJ I won't ask any Star Trek questions, but Brian, any word on when there might be another trailer for the, uh, for, uh, our, the movie next year? Well, we've been working on a, a trailer, but the reason why we didn't have a presence here, uh, this year for Star Trek is because, believe it or not, we don't have any visual effects done, and the trailer is filled with visual effects, and I think there's about, um, like five, shots that have like 80% of the visual effects done and the rest of the movie, which is well over a thousand shots, um, have nothing done yet. So every every you see a new version, it's like, oh good, it's gonna actually be in space. There are all these scenes that have like, there are these scenes that have like, these cards where it's like, insert really good, cool scene here. No. It's true that we, you know, in a movie like Star Trek, there are, you know, probably 1,300 visual effects shots and we, we actually final uh, 70 of them. Uh, I wish they were 70 that when you put in a trailer, well, that, that makes sense, that's a trailer, but the order in which they get done has nothing to do with that. And the, the frustrating thing is that, like I said before, we're on the same schedule. Had we come out in December when, you know, we were hoping and wanted to come out originally, uh, we would have scrambled to get all the trailers and stuff done, but because it's not coming out now until, you know, May, uh, it's just that the, the idea is not to you know, put this thing out there as if it were coming out in December because you have to pace yourself in the way. So, uh, I am dying to show you this movie. I love this movie. I love the actors are so good. The script is amazing. Alex Bob wrote it. It's one of these things that, despite the effects not working, because, you know, the original show wasn't about the effects. It was about the relationships and the dynamic of the characters. The reason that I know the movie's working, and I don't want to jinx anything, but it's like when I watch it, the reason I know it's working is you care about the, the story, the people, it makes you feel, it's funny, it's scary. It's, it's all these things that, that we'd hoped originally, and they're walking around and there's, you know, there's nothing on the view screen, you know. Or they're walking around and there's, there's a big thing of green right there, you know. But you're, it, it's working because the actors are so good, too. So I, I'm dying to show you that I, you know, I'm sorry for the strategy of, uh, you know, with Paramount not being here, um, precludes us from being able to present to you something that, you know, if I were worried you guys, and I feel like I am, I would, you know, I really want to see, so uh, it'll be soon, so I apologize. However, you're staying in the room. Um, I want to play, before we get back to the question from the audience, a little speed around here for the writer and producers. So just quick, quick, quick answers to these. Uh, Borg or Khan? JJ. M most badass villain. Borg or Khan? Khan. Next. Borg. Khan. Uh, so, I'm a big Howard Stern fan, 
Yes. So, yes, I love him. And would, could you possibly put George Takei in Star Trek? Oh my. Uh, I, we had a meeting with that guy, he is awesome. He was the greatest guy, we just loved him. So, uh, you know, sure. <laughs>